G'day everyone, Caleb here, Pro Touring Concepts. This Graphite 79 Beast, this actually was one of our demos that we planned to build up early last year. We thought, oh, we had a, we had a uh, legend of a customer still in line for one, so we thought we'd hand this one over to Brad. Uh, you've been a really, really patient legend of a customer, mate. Thank you, we really appreciate that. But on behalf of me and the team, it's taken up until now to get this car to where it is today. So. There is a lot in this build, which is what does actually add up the time. Uh, it's probably taken us about six to seven months to build the car itself. We've got, I'll give you a brief run through and then I'm gonna get into a bit more of an educational piece about the automatic conversion. So what you see here is a J-Max 4495 Super Chassis. It is sitting on a three inch lift, so coils in the rear and the front. It has a GVM rated to 4495, which is the biggest you can run on a car license. Any more than four and a half ton moves you into that LR category. The 79 series is arguably one of the best cars to take off-road and travel Australia, but in terms of payload, this car here is what you can get the most out of. And it's like a Meccano set, you can pretty much add on or subtract whatever you do or don't want in the car. But as it sort of sits around the 3.4 ton mark, which gives you a payload of about 1,100 kilos, which is insane for a car built to this caliber. Um, big canopy on the back, all the electronics in the back. Uh, there's a rear winch, there's a front winch, there's ARB bar work all around. It's got Recaro's inside, it's got a full suite of sound system, focal goodies, um, Kenwood, door pods, you name it. It's got the whole lot and has a GVM of four and a half ton and because we've done an automatic conversion to it, it can tow four and a half ton as well. So 4,500 kilo brake tow capacity federally. That's how this car is approved. The, sorry, the automatic approval is a post rego approval. So we register the car with the automatic in it and then the auto gets stamped after the, afterwards. So the auto addition to the car is a blue plate, but the approval is four and a half ton federally. So it's four, 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 nine, five GVM plus four and a half ton federally, but the automatic is a post-rego blue, post blue plate approval. I hope that sort of makes sense. If it doesn't, give us a call or email us. But yeah, that, in, in a nutshell, that's what this build is. This is a 305 7017 tire. This combination works really, really good. It's being a three inch lift on that size, Sometimes when you see a 35 inch tire on a three inch lift, it looks a little bit out of proportion. Whereas we feel this is absolutely spot on. It looks good. But yeah, look, I'm gonna delve into the auto. Now we get a lot of people asking us all the time, is the automatic conversion worth it? That is purely a matter of opinion and it comes down to one's budget as well. But if you like driving automatics, then yes, you will like this conversion. It makes a 70 series drive totally different. For those of you that have been around 70 series for years, uh, driving a manual is just pretty much all that you know, and it's they're quite an agricultural gearbox. They work incredibly well though, very strong. The manual can handle a lot of torque and power as well once you upgrade the clutches and stuff like that. Tip -tip Typically we put a 1300 or a 1600 NPC in it when you're running a manual. The automatic does um, eliminate the need for a clutch, obviously. Cost-wise, around the thirty-two dollars to $33,000 mark, plus any additional tuning or pieces, bits and pieces that you may need if you're doing it to your older 70 series car. If it's brand new, no, you're pretty much just putting the same, the one kit in. We put our auto conversion in at the same time that Diesel Power Unlimited do the tuning. So we send the wholesale kit up to the, the boys at DPU, they do the installation and all the tuning at the same time. It works hand in hand. It makes a lot of sense for us to do it that way. They can get the real world figure, figures on the dyno with this particular car. Every car works a little bit differently. So one tune from the auto is not necessarily gonna mean that you're gonna get the same in every other car following it. It's important that we do it that way right, right at the start. So auto in, gets the tune, comes down to us for the rest of the bits and pieces on the car. In terms of price, we have our about 32, 33,000 and then we've also got another few grand on top of that for the tuning airbox, all the other little performance bits and pieces, sealed, uh, yeah, so sealed airbox. You've got your exhaust with the torque at chassis. You've got your, uh, your dyno running and stuff like that. The list goes on. You can add or subtract. You can turbos, you can do power pipes, injectors, you name it. You can do that to this 70 series car. We are dabbling in the space with the, uh, the eight speed 
auto conversion as well. We've got our first two or three already coming through the line now. We will report back and we're gonna do a YouTube video on the first one that comes off the line with us with the eight speed to give a good comparison. We feel it's gonna be great. Same as with the wholesale kit. The wholesale kit's been around for a very long time. They try and limit the, the torque figures to around that eight to 900 Newton meter mark, which is perfect for these cars, like as in, this has just got a DPF in, very safe, reliable tow tune, running around the 650, 700 Newton meter mark. That wholesale kit absolutely loves it. It's, it is so smooth and as well with the slightly smaller size tire, um, it's, it's just, it's amazing. You get in it, put it in drive, off you go. It just feels like it's how it should have always been. But I'll give you a look inside anyway at the console and how it all comes together. All right, as I said before, Recaro's Expert M's inside here. We've got our beautiful console made by the team at Department of the Interior down in Sydney. Now, we obviously this particular colour and spec of the console comes through us. We put in the order for this particular console, laid out exactly how it is with the colours. It matches the rest of the car that we piece together. So the black one with the Alcantara, or the, the different uh, armrest as well, that's sort of specific to how we sort of order them. But when uh, mo most of the guys, most of the time you see them in a light grey that matches the standard grey um, upholstery inside the car. But this is the standard kit. We've got the shifter. This is the shifter out of the older model Prado, I'm fairly sure. Um, this is the little CompuShift ECU control unit. This is where we can monitor absolutely everything, the speed, the temperatures, um, the torque slip. We program in there the tire size, the gear ratios, absolutely everything. We can change shift points, percentages. Not that you really need to, because once we calibrate it and set it up, it's dialed how it needs to be. So you also have a torque converter lockup kit, uh, which locks every single gear. So you can't leave it on and pull up to a stop, you will stall the car. It is designed to be like, it's, it's incredibly handy when you're doing uphill or downhill sort of use, use the most out of your engine braking being the V8. So there's that, there's the torque converter lockup kit, the shifter and the compu shift unit. Now, sometimes if you ever have error codes or you wanna change something in the car, the setting, you don't like how it's shifting, um, you can deal directly with us or with, with the team at Wholesale to update your calibration file, uh, which we, we, we tend to do quite often. If someone ends up changing their tyre sizes or they've, they've added 500 kilos to the back of their car and, they've, and it's not shifting quite as it needs to be, then we make those changes when necessary, I suppose. So, But yeah, look, it looks just like it was always there. Um, this is the big Kenwood 10 inch screen. We've got our safety Dave up the top here too with the cameras facing back, one at the toe wall, one at the back of the canopy. It's just a very nice, comfortable place to be. We've got an amp underneath the passenger seat Recaro and the focals in the door. System actually absolutely cranks. I hope that sort of clears up a few things. The pricing, expect through us, expect between the thirty to $36,000 mark installed. The eight speed is sort of coming in at closer to 40 grand once we do a reconditioning kit to it. Worth it? In my opinion, yes. It drives amazing. If you like driving a manual and prefer changing the stick, then stick the manual. Like, it's totally up to you. This is incredibly easy to tow with. All of your slow speed work, like off-road, um, or even around town towing, reversing trailers and stuff like that. Obviously it's an automatic, it's so simple to drive. For those guys asking what they need to deem in their car, what, what they need in their car to deem it necessary to convert to an automatic, nothing. You, <laughs> it comes down to budget and if you like driving an auto, essentially. Around town work, great. That's one thing that a lot of our customers they buy and they, they get us to build these cars and then they try and use it as a daily driver and they're just not that. They're an agricultural farm truck, farm ute. They're in, in some ways not that comfortable to drive around town but they're a great touring rig and absolute point and shoot up high off the ground. They'll get through anything, especially in conjunction with the big chassis and the coils in the RSN. It's just, it's mint. And combine that with an automatic transmission, it's, it's really cool. So if you ask me, um, we've, we've had quite a few 70 series. Um, we've, we've got a Troopy at the moment. We've got another V8 that we're building. We're unsure if we'll convert both of them to automatic, but we definitely will convert one of them to automatic. And now there's the four cylinder auto, which is standard, automatic, amazing, great car. We're absolutely thrilled with that. We're gonna do a bit, bit of a video launch on them soon when they're finished. Absolutely love the auto in that four cylinder. It puts power right where it needs to be. And it's sort of, it's a little bit embarrassing, but it would still run rings around this car with all the 
the V8 and all the tuning and all that in it. So, but yeah, guys, hope that sort of cleared up anything for you in regards to the automatic transmission and prices to get it done. But I'm an advocate for it, but I know not everyone is. So yeah, any questions on the automatic, please give us a call, uh, drop a comment or send us an email. Happy to help in regards to the automatic. And um, actually, yeah, this one here, I forgot the steering wheel. This is a genuine 70th anniversary steering wheel. We get a lot of comments about it. We did order a heap of these last year only for our builds coming through. So we don't just stock them. Um, we can get more of them and wire it all into the system, but it's something we specifically sort of just hold for our builds. So anyway, cheers guys.